Hello everyone and welcome to another plugin tutorial. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to install and use Crazy Auctions. Yay! So what this plugin does is that it will let you sell items in an auction. Like ah, where once players put an item to be sold, other players can check the spot and buy items from other players. So first I'll show you how to install the plugin. There will be a link in the description that will bring you here. All you have to do is click download. Then once you do that, press crazy auctions version, whatever version you're downloading, click that and it will download it. Now go to your server, go to file manager, go to plugins, and then take the plugin that you downloaded and drop it into your plugins folder. Once you have done that, remember to reboot your server. To check to see if you install the plugin correctly, do slash PL. If the plugin shows up in there and is green, then you have installed it correctly. Now I will show you how to use the plugin. So first, what you can do is do basically slash a and h which this will bring up the crazy auctions place now let's say if i want to sell something like this book that i want to put in auction i'll do slash ah sell and the price so let's say one thousand dollars and how much of this book like let's say if it was cobblestone like 10 cobblestone or one cobblestone i have one book so i'm going to put one and there, I just added to the auction for $1,000. Now, if a player goes looks at the auction, they can say, hey, there's a book for $1,000. I want it, which you can't buy your own item. Now, you might be thinking, um, I didn't mean to put that there. How do I get it back? Well, you can check the items that you're selling. Click on that, and you can just click on the item that you're selling. Then you click back, click the collects expired or canceled items and press on it again and there's your book you can also bid items too so do slash ah bid and let's say the starting price is $100 now if I go into ah and currently looking for items being sold click on that and then currently looking at items that are being bid on current bid is 100 top bidder there isn't and time left 2 minutes 23 seconds now to get this back is pretty much the same way of as before go to the diamond click on it then go to the poison potato click on it again and you got it back now let's take a look at the configuration go to your server go to file manager go to plugins go to crazy auctions go to the config now here is basically players current time cancel expire time this is pretty much the text that will show up for this and this is basically the in the green is telling you what this code actually is so you can go through this and read it all now the sell time of course let's say if you're selling the item in the auction it will go for two days let's say if no one buys the item then it will go to the expired page or the cancel page like we've seen before this is the bid time which is 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Every time when someone's bidding something, it will last for 2 minutes 30 seconds. So this is where you can change the times for these if you want the time to be longer. Now this is the expired time. Now you can tell it's pretty self-explanatory. Expired time, bid winner time, etc. So basically what the entire configuration is, is the text for this. Selling an item lore, this is where items are being sold. So on the item, it will show the price and who's selling the item. This is the expired time so it, on the item it will tell you the time that will expire and the price yeah basically just a bunch of text so if you want it to say something else then you can put what you want there and that is the end of the video hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time bye